Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, it's all about Olympics. I don't know if you've been enjoying watching the Olympics. Every now and then I get a chance to watch some of the events. Uh, winter, summer, I really dig just competition and athletics. So I thought, hey, why not bring that into the classroom? Especially now that you know the Olympics are occurring. So today what I have to do is show you four robotic Olympic events. I'm going to have my students compete against classes against class just to see who can come up with the best time or record here. So if you want to see those events, stay with me. He now Lego Robotics. Oh yeah. Okay, so today we're going to be using a robot in all these events. So it's not going to be a physical competition. The robot's going to be the one actually completing the mission and it's all about timing, getting it done in the fastest time. There's one event where they have to do a task in a, you know under 60 seconds. So the events are going to be really cool. I'm going to go ahead and take you to the table and show you what those events are. Come on, let's go. Okay, so I have four events, and I tell my students they must compete in two events to get an exceeds or an A for those of you that are using letter grades. If they want just a met or a B, I guess for those of you doing grades, they can only, you know, they can participate in one event. So I make my students earn their grade here. So the first event here is going to be the three cup knockdown. So here's how this event works. I have the robot starting in this corner and I put a yardstick here just as an obstacle. So the robots have a, an option here. They can go over, they can go over the yardstick which will mess up their robot. You know what I mean? It'll make it less accurate. And their job is to knock over these three cups here on the opposite end of the table. I have corner, middle, and corner. Obviously, their robot could just drive straight and out, and it could be uh, maybe hopefully more accurate. For those of you that work with EB3s, you're never guaranteed that. And then this is all about timing. Who can get the fastest time knocking over those three cups. <laughs> this looks good. Yeah. Okay, so here I have my black line track and I think you guys can already tell what event this is gonna be. So for those of you that might have some of these materials, you know, you can always use your imagination and try to come up with something similar. You know, you could just get a piece of white butcher paper and make your own line. Um, but here we go. This would be like, you know, in the Winter Olympics, speed skating. In the Summer Olympics, this could be like, you know, the 800 meter uh, just running around the track. So the robot, this is what we call the black line two lap uh, event. So the students will have to, you know, come up with whatever robot they're going to make and their robot's going to have to do two laps and we're going to time that and see who is going to have the fastest time. So I put a little mark here where we would put their color sensor and that's the part where, you know, it's kind of like their start and finish. The robot goes around twice and we time it and see which robot has the fastest time around the track. Look how fast that thing is. That thing is jamming, guys. I don't, I don't know if I've seen one that fast. Okay, the next event is going to be the ball drop. So, the robot will start here. The track won't be there. And we have the Mr. Hino bucket over here. And so the team that participates in this event, they'll be given as many of these wiffle balls as they can. And their job is to have their robot put as many of these wiffle balls into this bucket in 60 seconds. So this one's going to be a quantitative event here where they're trying to get as many of these in this bucket as they can. Now I thought about it, I was gonna make this a, you know, you only can take one ball at a time. Then I thought, hey, why would I stifle their creativity? 
So they can take as many of these as they can to put in this bucket. Obviously, there's a limit on how many of these this bucket can hold, but they only have 60 seconds to get these wiffle balls into that bucket, and that is going to be the ball drop. Okay, and the last event here is going to be the cargo truck move. Those of you that did Cargo Connect will see this is pretty similar to what you guys had to do. So the robot will start here. The robot will start with this cargo. The robot must put the cargo into the truck. It doesn't have to be in a particular position. So the truck will be here, and then the robot must move the truck right onto that space, the parking lot. So this one will be timed, the quickest team to get the cargo into the truck and move the truck into this space. So the rule is going to be that the truck just has to be completely in this space. Okay, guys, so there you have it. There is our Robotic Olympics. Um, some of you might be asking, Mr. Gino, are there size limitations to the robot? Just for the three cup knockdown, we ask that the robot does not go off of the starting mat. Um, we just don't want this monstrosity robot just going, brrr, you know, with the cups. We want that one to be able to fit on a, you know, the starting line, eight and a half by 11. The rest of them, the robot can be whatever size they want it to be. They can make whatever robot they want to fit the task. So, and so the final rule is the team can practice all they want. They could practice a hundred times, but they, they will get three official, you know, attempts at the record or, you know, just saying official time to, you know, get the task done. So that's when we have, you know, an official time. Once they do that three, they're done. So here's what they can do. You know, they can do it once and get like a time. If it gets beat, then they can use their second or third time to improve their score. So it's a really neat project, guys. Um, let's go ahead and, you know, make it a couple of days from now once my students can get on here because I only have a few teams on here and I only had one team that actually finished the event that I'll bring you guys video of students attempting and hopefully completing this event, you know. It's going to be really neat to watch and see what different solutions they come up with. Okay, guys? So there's the Robotic Olympics. Hopefully, it's going to be very fun for them. The teams that have already started are already starting to think what they're going to do, and they're having lots of fun. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.